Hey, this is Pastor Dave, and this is your Monday Mojo, the week of Holy Week. No, no, not the church Holy Week. The dance. NCAA tournament brackets have been set, and it begins this week. But that's not what this mojo is about. Hope you had a great weekend. So, oftentimes have the opportunity to officiate at a funeral for someone I've never met before. A local funeral home will call me up and ask if I'm available to do um, a service for someone I've never met. So I have to spend time getting to know the family and hearing their story. Last week I did a service for a woman who, same age as me, 58 years old, and um, she, from her childhood, had medical issues over and over and all through her whole life. She had several surgeries and several situations and, and chronic situations, and yet everyone who knew her, family, friends, everyone said she had such a great attitude. It reminded me of the saying from, Chuck Swindoll, who said, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% your attitude towards it. So that got me thinking. That got me thinking that if, if I find myself in a tizzy, as some would say, that's probably the 90% attitude that I've created towards whatever the situation is. If, if his numbers are right, let's just say that they're close. Life is 10% what happens and 90% how you respond to it, how you, how you choose an attitude towards it. So if you find everything being a big ordeal in your life, maybe it's because that 90% of you is making it a big ordeal. Or if you find, 90%, if you, if you find life to be pretty darn good, maybe it's that 90% of you that is saying, I'm going to choose to have a good attitude about this. And it reminds me of what Jesus said. It's not the same thing as what Chuck said, but it's close. He said, in this world, you will have trouble. We need to learn that today. In this world, there will be obstacles. There will be trouble. There will be heartache. There will be problems. In this world, you will have trouble. But let's consider that the 10%. And then Jesus said, but take heart. Don't, he didn't say, don't lose heart. He said, take heart. Be of good cheer. Why? He said, because I have overcome the world. Good lesson for Lent. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. So take a few moments this week and take a step back and, and ask yourself, where are the areas in your life where you are just overwhelmed and and anxiety filled and, and all those kinds of things and say, what if maybe I adjust my attitude a little bit? Maybe I could find more peace in this life and take heart, be of good cheer and courage, courage, as the lion would say, for Jesus has overcome this world. Anyway, that's your Monday Mojo. Have a great week.